Hello again, everybody. Welcome to OCVarsity.com. It's time to talk about what's going on in the world of swimming with Dan Albano. So, Dan, I guess we had one heck of a dual meet going on yesterday, which was Tuesday in the South, South Coast. Yes, League. outstanding. Very exciting. Right? It was one of the one of the best meets of the year so far. Uh, number three, Michigan girls playing host to number eight, Elisa Nagel. Yeah. And it was a barn burner. Came down, some fast racing all afternoon. Elisa Nagel getting most of the first play, getting almost all the first place finishes in all the events. Uh, nine of the first ten events. All were won first place by Elisa Nagel. But it comes down to the 400 free relay and the depth in the 400 free relay was key. And uh, it's pretty interesting how the dual meets work. It comes down to really what decided this meet was the B relays and the 400 free relay. And Mission Viejo rallied in their B relay yeah. to out-touch um, Elisa Nagel. And uh, that's how they won. 86-84. Both teams were wow, undefeated. that's about as close as it gets, Yeah, huh? both teams were uh, undefeated in league. Um, undefeated in dual meet season, so it was a big victory for the defending champion, Lady Diablos, and uh, Sasha Westberg was a junior, had a great finish, and it was a, it was a really good uh, race because the first two legs of the 400 free relay with the B team, Elisa Nagel had about, after two legs, had about a three or four body length uh, lead. Wow. But uh, the back half went to Mission Viejo, and... Uh, place going crazy. Place going crazy, yeah. kids on both sides. There's some video on OCVarsity.com, please check it out, you can hear these kids uh, just screaming and um, that, very good great. for high school swimming. The passion was there on the pool deck. And, um, you know, it was a great victory for Michigan because at least they had to swim so well because at least Nigel swam so well. Yeah. Uh, Melanie Claren blasted out two county leading times. She went 4.53 in the 500. That's a county leading time by, oh, probably six seconds or so. Wow. And good uh, yeah, very good time this year. And she went 57 low in her backstroke, two all American times. And I was uh, blogging yesterday that maybe we have a new. Stroke for stroke, a leader on the girls' side, Melanie uh, Claren, junior, only a junior too. And uh, but Lisa Nagel had these other girls, uh, three other girls, go double winner: um, Rihanna Vaughn, Camille Merlin, uh, Marin, and uh, Merwin, I think it is, and um, Stephanie Schulbaum. So they had they were winning all the events. Only uh, the only one that um, Mission Viejo won all day was a 200 free relay. So they won it with their depth. Yeah, and uh, I think there was at, huh? four events, Steve, that they went second, third, fourth. And the way the points work, if they can do that, you can go two, three, four in an event, you can win that event 9 7. Sure, because so, again, it's all about depth and where you get your points. points. Yeah, so, Coach Boss absolutely. did a great job with his lineup. Coach Cox at uh, Elisa Nagel. It was a great girls' meet uh, nice. down there at Mission Viejo. And it reminded me of a boys' meet this uh, this year, which involves uh, one of the big meets this week, which is uh, Corona Del Mar playing host on Thursday to. Uh, Corona Del Mar boys, number one in the county, playing host to number three, Newport Harbor. Going to be a great non-league meet, Battle of the Bay. But uh, earlier this year, that was this meet, um, Ka uh, Corona Del Mar's victory over Capitol Valley ended in similar fashion with their depth in the 400 free relay. So there's been some great dual meet racing out there, and I'm looking forward to this yeah. uh, Battle of the Bay, Steve. Uh, you've covered a few Battle of the Bay. Uh, uh, of different sorts over the decades. Yes. As I have. And so where's this, uh, where Corona Del Mar. Corona Del Mar Thursday. Okay. Which is probably starting roughly around 3 o'clock. And um, What else hot's coming up? Well, that's probably the biggest thing. Uh, on, also on Thursday in the Sunset League, it's a good girls uh, dual meet over at Los Alamitos. Los Alamitos, I believe they are uh, fifth in the county, playing host to yeah. the number four Lady Barons. And these two teams just raced, pretty uh, put on quite a good duel at the uh, Klaus Barth Invitational right around uh, before Easter break. So it's all league activity until we get to the... Right the, now, league is heavy. CIF you know, next week we May. got the Foothill Swim Games coming back. Oh, yeah, So gosh. that's, uh, those will be over at Beckman because they're working on Foothill's new pool over there. Yeah. So they'll be back at Beckman another year. But uh, right now it is uh, heavy in the uh, league season and some great dual meets. Okay, they're gonna put up one of those Doughboy pools at Foothill or oh, they're gonna no. have an in-ground one? Oh, they're gonna, I think they're gonna have a great pool. Okay. I have to find out some more information. Uh, I'm messing but... with you on the Doughboy. Those are <laughs> above ground. Foothill, with all their uh, history, you remember Coach uh, Tom DeLong? Sure. And Coach Jim Brum and all the uh, the Furnace boys that came through there. They deserve a great yeah, pool over there. Steve and Bruce. I'm and sure. I've talked to Coach Brum, names. talked to him about making sure they have uh, suggesting. They don't need my suggestions. There's some Olympic medals. Love to see some great. They had, they had some great heritage and some great wall markings and stuff yeah. on their old pool. And Neat. hopefully a lot of, lot of stuff trans translates to the new yeah, pool at uh, Foothill. Tradition, man. So that's what's going on in swimming. You can keep track of everything that's going on in the pool with Dan Obano. He's got all kinds of videos there, stuff on the blogs all the time. So keep track of what's going on in swimming and all the spring sports at ocvarsity.com where we've got you covered.